So now I'm going to add the detail. Um, so at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and add the eye because it really helps when you add the eye to bring it to life. And so as, you, as you're doing the rest of it, it just, I don't know, for some reason it just helps. With the eye, you're going to layer. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to um, keep layering on the black um, with less and less um, alcohol so that it's darker as I go. So I'm just kind of blocking it in at the moment and I'll add detail and better highlights. Once you start being able to work um, tiny, what I mean is like adding the details, you, as you're wiping, getting alcohol, wiping, coming back to it, uh, after a while you just get a feel for it. And you don't really have to worry about, well, you do have to worry about the blooming, but it's like you get a, um, a sense of where you are with it and you can more easily tell what's going to bloom out and cause you a problem. Although I say that, but then sometimes I go, ah, it went and got away from me, you know. But for the most part, I can get a sense of it now. I kind of know where the where it will bloom out, and and I'm more confident in it. I think alcohol ink really is great for birds because as you add small dots like I'm doing right now with just alcohol, it really mimics kind of a, a feathery look. At this point, um, I'm sort of adding details, but I'm also just, this is the fun part for me, just kind of layering, you know, I'm, I'm layering uh, blue, I'm putting in turquoise, I'm putting in purple, but in the end, it's still gonna read a blue color for this bird, but it's just really fun to put in the, the random blotches and color and oh I just love how that looks it's just so cool to me <laughs> um, also you want to make sure you're still keeping your highlights and shadows to give it form so if I see on my, on my reference that this is a little lighter I'm just gonna add just some little bit more uh, uh, plain alcohol and just touch on it here and there to lighten it up a little. So I started 
putting a little blue and I had too much alcohol on my brush so as you see I pretty much just whited out <laughs> his whole eye so it's not a big deal um, you just let it dry a bit and just go back in with less alcohol on your brush and a little more of the alcohol ink and let's fill the black back in and sometimes I'll just keep on working on the eye until I really like it um, the white the highlight is kind of going away kind of smudging out so just use the alcohol go back take it out and it, you may not even have you don't really have to make it exactly like the reference as far as like how the highlight looks as long as there is a highlight um, and then you add a little color a little splash of something else instead of just a flat black um, eventually it gets there When you're painting, it's always good if you add a color in one place to just add a tiny bit of it somewhere else. Um, for instance, I'll probably use these same colors in his blue area here, just so it all harmonizes. Plus the background has this pool color and turquoise, so I want it to all harmonize, work together, and be a a nice happy family of colors. And the reason I keep dipping into both of these is I'm, I think I said before, I'm just trying to get off most of the color on here and then getting semi-clean um, alcohol before I go back to my bird so that I'm not struggling with constantly putting muddy looking colors on my bird.
Now, if you wanted to, you could use a Sharpie or a uh, alcohol marker to do some of these details that I've been struggling with, like the eye, the, the feet. Um, that's perfectly fine. I've done that. Um, just really wanted to show some um, technique of just, you know, using the alcohol ink and how you can repair or fix anything that you wanted to. Um, last thing I do is I, I sort of like to add a little bit of, I don't know, just a, a little bit of alcohol ink splotches and I'll do that sometimes just get a little alcohol on my brush and just whack it. <laughs> not whack it, but just, you know, try not to do too much because it's a uh, It'll go too far and then you'll regret it but um, the only the last thing that I do um, I'm going to do in one last part which is to add I like to add a little bling I like to add a little shine so what I'm going to do is take a little of the mixatives from Ranger um, and put um, like a copper or gold or silver in the veining um, which I also, something that's something I learned from Miriam's Nature. Um, I really like that look. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but the alcohol inks, all of the, the creases and stuff, it cause like a little bit of a swirly line around the ink itself, um, which is also done here, but it's not as concentrated, so it's not as pronounced. But in all of these little creases, I'm going to put a little bit of, of metallic, so uh, that will be the next section. <laughs>